Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what we've got going on today. Holy Spirit, can you guide me? Can you help me to see clearly the message that you have for us today? Help me to use whatever gifts you may have given me and help the collective to also connect with me by their spiritual gifts to receive whatever message you have for them. Thank you that you can amazingly give so many messages at once to so many different people. All right, who do you want to give a message to today, Holy Spirit? Pisces. Pisces is up today. All right, Pisces, you're up, baby. Let's see what Spirit has to say to you today. How do you want to begin? Begin with the prayer on here. What prayer do you have for the sign of Pisces, Spirit? Help me to see all aspects of this situation and not to get tunnel vision. All right. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. We keep getting the same, y'all. It's weird how we get the same one for most all the signs. Make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. So you're coming into a situation, collective spirits, bringing you into a situation this week that requires peace. And we're being made instruments of spirit. To bring hope, peace, light. This is a beautiful thing to be called to do this specific gift. I mean, um, task to bring this peace. This is a beautiful, beautiful gift. Alright, if we'll allow spirit to use us that way. What message do you have for the sign of Pisces, spirit? It's trying to open to a certain page. No, it's all right. All right, so what message do you have for the sign of Pisces today? Ask again tomorrow. <laughs> so whatever you're asking, Pisces, Spirit says ask again tomorrow. So no message for you out of this oracle book today. All right. Interesting that Spirit would even have us check. But maybe just being told that I'm, it's not that I'm not going to answer you. It's that I want you to keep asking. Right, what virtues are you working on? Loyalty. So Pisces, Spirit's helping you with loyalty. And also contentment. And then honesty. And when somebody's having to be honest and loyal and content, the loyalty and honesty could be about somebody being very disloyal and dishonest. And you're just having to deal with it while it's happening. You're just having to deal with this dishonesty and just so somebody is just going through something here. This is serious stuff right here. I can tell you that. All right, Spirit, how do you want to begin? Let's begin with this. Let's, we're going to start with the Tarot. Which one do you want to use? All right. What's working in the overall Tarot energy for the sign of Pisces, Holy Spirit? Temperance came out. You're probably dealing with a Sagittarius or you have that placement. You're having to be content. That's your contentment. That's like you having to just wait. And we saw that with the book. You're kind of in this waiting mode. Spirit has you waiting. Somebody may have burned their fingers this week cooking or doing something because I burned mine while ago. Or you, somebody in this situation may have gotten burned. Like for real, for real. All right, what's not working? Somebody may be getting stung or burned here. This could be a setup of some sort. What's working is there's something that's not being overcome. It's 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 uh, affecting your movement forward. You're like the chariot is movement. It's it's really overcoming something. It can also be about getting your car and going somewhere. It can be about getting on an airplane going somewhere. It can be about getting on any, any form of transportation, a bicycle. I mean, you're getting on something and moving. But you're not able to move. Like, maybe you don't have a driver's license. 
All right, and how do we pull this together? I don't know where that came from. There's going to be some unhappiness. And I think we've been seeing this in somebody's reading already. All right, so then we have the high priestess on the bottom of the deck. And that's you, Pisces, showing up in your own reading, coming up here. Uh, what, what we don't see coming is you. You're very gifted and intuitive, obviously. Pisces are like that. All right, how are you working in Pisces' home life, Spirit? Home life for the sign of Pisces, Spirit. Can I get good, strong answers for home life? Thank you so very much. As I say yes to life, life says yes to me, yes. There's a house here with some flowers. Looks like daisies. Daisy might be significant to you, and I love life. So Spirit wants you to say yes to life and love life. Somebody might be planting flowers somehow or watering flowers. You might have on a red top with like a schmock looking thing. Your hair might be in pigtails, braids, looks like braids. All right, work life spirit for the sign of Pisces. There's yellow flowers, orange and green are standing out in the here. And there's some purple, definitely some purple flowers. Life supports me. Spirit wants you to know that life supports you, Pisces. That's how Spirit's working in your life. And it looks like somebody's being disloyal and dishonest, so you probably feel very unsupported somehow. All right? Surprises for the sign of Pisces. You're dealing with a, a Taurus and, and a fire sign, probably a Sagittarius somehow. All right? I trust the process of life. So you're going to be surprised that you're going to have trust. You have very, I mean, when somebody's not loyal and they're not honest, you, it brings trust issues, doesn't it? Somebody's very much into flowers. All right, love life for the sign of Pisces. Somebody has red hair. It is safe to look within. So this is about you look looking within and loving yourself, Pisces. Spirit wants you to look within. Somebody loves flowers and plants here. I uh, Pisces roll. Wow, that came out with force. All my relationships are harmonious. So maybe you have trust issues. You may be a little paranoid about the people around you because somehow you don't feel like you can trust people. Alright, uh, outcome for Pisces spirit. What will Pisces outcome be? And you have a beautiful angel here. You have, I see my parents as tiny children who need love. So somehow there's parents that you see as children who need love. They could be yours or you could be a parent. And I am in the process of positive change. You're going through a lot of change right now, Pisces. You might be taking care of your parents that are elderly or you might have some um, children who are grown. You might be going through some stuff with your children or this could be about your parents. You might not have had a very good childhood. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have divine wisdom guides me. You're being divinely guided when you, when you are moving through this situation, whatever this is. It seems very cut and dry. There's a lot of trust issues here. Um, you're In your love life, you're looking within. So it's about you learning to love yourself, having harmonious relationships. Spirit wants you to have harmonious relationships. So work hard. That's what this is about. Bring light to darkness and peace to situations that are unpeaceful right now. All right, let's get some of these. Home life for Pisces spirits. You have talent. Spirit says you have talent in your home life. So maybe you do crafts or you do something at home that's very... You might work in these plants. I mean, somebody could definitely be gifted with plants. Uh, you might need to plant medicine, but you're talented in your home life, okay? Or maybe you have somebody in your family who's into sports and they have a lot of talent. You may be into sports. All right, how are you working a work life? Somehow Spirit wants you to know that there's dreams. You Pay attention to your dreams, Pisces. Spirit's speaking to you through your dreams and telling you things. And make sure you keep a dream journal also. You have some stars aligning in your life right now. The full moon could be significant and also the, the wanting moon I'm hearing. The wanting moon. Okay. Surprises you have for Pisces. 
Pay attention to the cycles of the moon, or you may already do that, Pisces. You might be keeping a moon diary. Commitment and forgiveness. So somehow there's going to be forgiveness in some commitment that you have. Or you're going to have forgiveness and a commitment. All right. Somebody definitely has red hair here. Yeah, that's your surprise. Is somebody's going to forgive and be committed. Huh. All right. Love life for Pisces spirit. <laughs> you probably got animals for your love life. I see you being an animal lover. Oh, baby. Psychic abilities, career, and spirit guide. So you're... You're, you're, you're probably doing something somewhat like I do, where you have, this is in your love life, there's a, there's a career that you love, and you have psychic abilities and a spirit guide trying to give you guidance, you're divinely guided, alright, Pisces roll here, spirit, what would you like Pisces to do, that's a lot, spirit, spirit says be courageous, there's your animals, you have animals, spirit says take care of your animals, be courageous, let me show you the clarity you need and then manifest healing and boundaries. Awesome, Pisces. Beautiful. You know how to set boundaries with people. Don't tell everybody you'll do things you're not going to do. Don't let them tell you they're going to do things they're not going to do. You have to set firm boundaries and have this healing. You're going to need to have clarity about where your boundaries need to be healed. So you're saying you have some boundary issues that need healing for this commitment. That's going to be forgiven. Okay? And then outcome for Pisces. You're going to have some travel. And you're going to be confident in this travel too. Oh, and you're going to get closure somehow from this travel. Wow, Pisces. <laughs> Alright, beautiful. Somebody lives near some woods and they like to go walking in the woods. And you're also going to get truth out of this travel. So you're going somewhere... But right now, you haven't, you maybe don't have the money to get there. You're having to be patient. But you are, in fact, being patient. But you're not happy through this patience because there's something that you need to change, you need to do. And it may have to do with a career also and your talent also. You're traveling for work, it looks like, some of you. Some of you may be traveling to visit family that needs healing for some reason. Alright, let's see what's going on for you out of this particular deck, Pisces. Home life for the sign of Pisces spirit. What would you say to Pisces? Alright, we'll take them. Think it through and shine. This is about your talent. Gemini's here and Leo's here. <coughs> we have Leo over here. We have Taurus here. We have the fire sign, especially Sagittarius is here twice. Alright, work life. I want you to, oh, that's way too many. I will take these two, but I'm going to put these back. They can come out again if they need to. Spirit says, embrace the flow of, of life and leave the past behind. But whatever's happened, it's time to walk away from it. There's definitely a full moon that's significant. You have a Capricorn and Gemini again. You definitely might be dealing with a Gemini. And there's a full moon in Gemini that's standing out to me very strongly. The new moon in Gemini is here and the full moon. We have the new moon in Leo and the last quarter moon in Capricorn. Remember I said one? Alright, surprises here. You're going to push through some insecurities you have and reflect on your priorities. Cancer's here and Aquarius is here. Alright. Love life, this career, and this psychic ability. You're going to trust in the universe. Aquarius is here. And breathe through your tensions. Scorpio is here. And any tensions you have about this career and your psychic abilities are going to, you're going to breathe through them. So make sure you're doing some meditation or some, like a yoga or um, an intentional dance or something to breathe through any tensions that you have, Pisces. All right, Pisces, roll here. Wow, these are coming out with force. Your role here is to practice gratitude. Spirit says just practice being grateful for the things that you have, and I'll make sure you have more. You have a lot of full moons showing up here. The moon is very significant to you. All right, outcome for the sign of Pisces, Spirit. You're going to trust that all will be well with this travel and closure. 
All right, and then you have Know Your Worth on the bottom of the deck. I mean, this is a very cut and dry reading other than the Tarot that we have here. It's just like you're in a period of needing to wait. Um, even the book told you to ask again tomorrow. So today you just have to be patient and wait. And it has to do with some deception that's taking place in your family, it looks like, or in your tribe, in your life, in a relationship of some sort. All right, let's pull some Tarot for you now. Let's see what's going on. Shuffle the cards one time. One time. We have the two of cups in the air for us. So maybe you're waiting to have a relationship with someone. Alright. Why is temperance here? There could be somebody that you want to see really badly. Why is temperance here? It doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be because of you planning. See there? The page of pinnacles. You're planning probably this trip. And you're working on your talent, you're perfecting your craft. You're, you've got news, maybe, about a career. You may have gotten happy news about a promotion or your career. You may be in school. Some of you may be students. You definitely love plants. Somebody has dark hair that's very straight. Um, you may have a library or at least a nice bookshelf full of books that you enjoy reading. There's also some fertility here because I see a rabbit. There's a rabbit here. All right, why somebody in your family could be pregnant. Why is the chariot in reverse? Because of the two of pentacles and the ten of swords. Damn, that's a betrayal right there. You've been working hard, maybe multiple, doing multiple things, trying to keep your money moving through. Juggling your priorities, balancing your budget, and somebody just came along and stole it all, it looks like. Like, they betrayed you big time. Somebody took it all from this person, and they were working hard to juggle. Somebody stole from you. <laughs> or reverse the roles if you need to, but I can't imagine you would have done this to somebody else. But whatever this is, it's painful. Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Why is the sun here? Because of a two. Because you're not able to decide who did this, I think. You don't know who did this. You're trying to figure out who is responsible for betraying you. Spirit, can you clarify the two of swords and the ten of swords? Spirit says you did not protect yourself. You were not prepared. Pray. Okay, and it could involve animals of yours. Somebody could have, um, I hate to say it, but they could have stole somebody's animals. Wow, Pisces. Why is the high priestess on the bottom of the deck? This is a very cut and dry reading. Somebody took something from you. Oh, baby. Because you're going to have a decision to make about work. And you are, in fact, a divine feminine. You're trying to decide about what you should do with these psychic abilities of yours. This career of yours. Advice for the sign of Pisces, Spirit. Can I get advice for the sign of Pisces? You're going on a trip. It's showing up very strongly here. Advice for the sign of Pisces. There's <clears throat> the King of Pentacles, all right? There's a masculine energy here who's very grounded, compassionate. Uh, he's probably very accomplished in life, <clears throat> charismatic, probably handsome. He has his ducks in a row. He works hard. He takes care of He's a family man, okay? What about this King of Pentacles? This is your advice. Okay, you're thinking about this is the person who just... You think this is the person. This, okay, this is, in fact, Spirit says, I feel, I believe this is the person that lied to you and was not loyal to you. And it looks like they stole from you. They probably did it while you were working with them or partying together. You're thinking about this. All right, what about it, Spirit? Spirit says you need to reevaluate this deception. What do you mean, Spirit? Talk to me very clearly. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Somebody's going to prison here. Somebody's going to go to prison for this. Justice is here with the Eight of Swords. This person is, I think, in prison, but they're upright. Somebody deceived this person and caused them to go to prison. 
And I think it was some friends of his that he partied with. All right, show me if this, show me this person. I want to see if this person is guilty spirit. Does this, has this person done anything to deserve to be in prison? Can you show me, please? No bullshit energy right now, please. I would like to have good, strong answers about this person being in prison. Okay. They, this is a three of pentacles, and this is about doing what you love, having recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, and working well with others, an excellent reputation. So this person was, they had, um, this can also be a card about third parties. Why is the three of pentacles here? Maybe they were selling drugs. What's going on here? Oh, my God. Look, this is about somebody molesting a child or something. Look, this is a child, a little child, look, a young person. They did something to this young person. All right, Spirit. <clears throat> Pisces, I want you to get your questions ready, okay? Pause the video if you need to. I will give you an opportunity to ask about the guilt of, or innocence of this person. So, um, they did something. You Okay, you could even, it's, it's either a child or you're their friend. You could have been their friend and they could feed you at work. And I want you to ask about this King of Pentacles. Or this could be you. <coughs> All right, get your questions. You can ask three questions, Pisces. All right, are you ready? Let's get these answers for you about what's going on here. Guilt or innocence or any questions you have about this Seven of Swords. All right, are you ready, Pisces? All right, let's go. Answers, please, for the sign of Pisces. No fluffy duffy. Spirit says perfect timing, peaceful resolution. All right, so whatever's going on here, it looks like it's going to have a peaceful resolution when it's time. All right, you want to ask another question? Get your question, Mary. Somehow dolphins and mermaids are significant here. This could be a little girl. It could be a young girl. All right, you ready, Pisces? Answers for Pisces. Spirit says, yes. Listen to your intuition. Yes. Listen to your intuition. So you were right, but Spirit wants to remind you to listen to your intuition. But there will be helpful people somehow significant to this. All right. One more time. One more question, Pisces. All right. Are you ready, Pisces? Here we go. Spirit says, not the right time, improving health. So maybe you're not able to do this or somebody is not able to do this until their health condition improves somehow. I'm hearing one more question. Okay, one more question. <laughs> All right, are you ready, Pisces? Good, strong answers only, please. Wow. All right, I got compromise, listen to your intuition, and no. And then on the bottom of the deck, I have big, happy changes, Okay. So, whatever's going on here, Spirit is answering your questions, and I'm going to allow that to be your stuff, because I don't need to know. Spirit is just saying you need to, to sit back and wait and relax. Now I want to talk to Spirit about this psychic ability and career of yours. Can we get some guidance, Spirit, about that? Talk to me about Pisces, Spirit. Spirit says, the initiation... You're, you're about to cross a threshold, and there might be lightning. You could have, could have had some lightning strike recently, or it will happen soon. Who or what is triggering you? So you're, you're being triggered by a situation that you're involved in. And it's, it's, it's because Spirit wants you to answer the call and figure out what your soul is calling you to do. And we see that you are going to, in fact, make a decision about work, some kind of work project. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have the priestess. You are being called to step up and lead. So you're being asked to be in a leadership role here, Pisces. All right, what healing does Pisces need, Spirit? Show me what healing Pisces needs. 
healing for the sign of Pisces, please. This King of Pentacles is upright. Alright, I have a Phoenix rising. Letting go and you have a problem with procrastination here. You need to work on, okay? And then sexual arts, which is about remaining celibate or having a relationship with only one partner. Remaining abstinent and pure if you're not with a partner. Okay? Now, let's get a message for you. I was told to uh, access Nyx. Nyx has a message for you today. Nyx, may we access your wisdom. What would you like to say to Pisces? They're saying that your life is fragmented, but you're a warrior. So this has the sense that the parts of your life don't fit together. But that's okay. They don't have to. Focus on the part that works. Figure out what part of your life works the, the most and is in the flow with spirit and work in that area. Okay? Focus on that. You're a warrior, Pisces. And you're also a high priestess of air. So you may have an air placement or you may be dealing with an air sign. And we see that you do have swords up here. Somebody in your life is an earth sign, probably a Taurus. You have all the fire signs here. Sagittarius is here twice. And then you have a high priestess of fire under that. You have hope. And right now, you're trying to remain invisible. Or you may need to remain invisible. Don't put yourself out there unnecessarily right now while you're going through this. Alright, let's get you a message from here. A message from Soul's Truth, Holy Spirit. What would you say out of the Soul's Truth deck for the sign of Pisces? May we get a soul truth message. Okay, we're going to give you a few of these. All right, your soul's truth today. Where are you called to use your voice right now? So there's something you're supposed to be using your voice for. How can I surrender even more in this moment? And what can I burn? So you have some shame that you need to let go of. And what am I grateful for right now? Remember, practicing gratitude is your role. So start being grateful for even the small things. Use your voice where you're asked to use your voice. You might need to pick up the phone and call somebody to bring hope. And that's how you can surrender even more. Is to do things that you don't want to do in this hard time. Okay? And just be grateful. Alright. And then on the bottom of the deck we have, What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? So somehow in your life you have expectations that are impossible to meet, Pisces. Angels, how are you helping the sign of Pisces in this situation? What are you doing to help Pisces here? You're bringing courage and harmony. Maybe giving you the courage to help harmonize your relationships. Alright, uh, what else? You have vision. Somehow your vision is showing up here, Pisces. You may have visions. And you have a partnership. You're supposed to be in a partnership with somebody working. Communication. And then we have purity here as well. So somehow purity. Remember um, sexual arts? Purity can be about all forms of purity too. It can be about the things you eat. You know, you may be being called to purify yourself right now. Purify yourself from the world. And there's going to be communication somehow for you. All right. What else? You need to use your voice, Pisces. Truth and resurrection. So you're going to have truth that resurrects this partnership, this relationship, or whatever this is. So it's putting everything where it needs to be for this divine plan. And you also have a guardian angel, and there's your sexuality again. And look, Pisces, you have protection and joy with unity. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The angels are working double time in your situation. Alright, anything else you want to say, Spirit, before I close this reading? Anything else you want to say? How no. is Pisces supported no. by the universe? You know, how are you helping Pisces to be supported? I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So whatever you're going through that's dark, Pisces, Spirit wants you to perceive it through the eyes of love. And the universe is helping you. And then you're going to choose love no matter what. So no matter what this person has been accused of, you're going to choose to show them love and respect. All right, and then the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So 
Just turn it over to God and allow God to take control of this situation. And let go of any shame that you might have. Okay? I do know that some situations in life can bring more shame than others. But we have to release that to spirit and allow spirit to work. I mean, anything that happens in life, nobody's going to remember in five days. Like, they got their own shame. All right, spirit. Can you tell me who you're talking to? Q, Q, A, K, D, M, C. R, X, M, D, V, T, B. M, Q, W, Q, N L S L S A M T D V L S. All right, one more time. C K D O V B E. So we have do. We have code. Somehow there might be a code. Maybe you're having to adhere to a particular code somehow. All right. S W F W R Y H. So we have W W S F R Y H. I'm hearing one more time. A B V, P, B, G, U. So we have bug. Somehow a bug. They may have bugged somebody and caught them doing something dishonest. All right. Trinkets, please. Here. Very unusual reading, Pisces. Alright, I have a piece of crystal, a piece of marble. Always remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Another piece of crystal. If you're not into crystals, you might need to get you some. It takes a big heart to teach little minds. You may be a teacher. A compass. Oh, cutie pie. I have my little Hello Kitty. Look at there. Hello Kitty. A heart that says love. A little bitty Eiffel Tower. You might live in a small apartment building or some kind of small community. I have an elephant, <clears throat> a starfish, a cat. Somebody's cat and their bird are here with me. A cat and a bird. These are your animals, Pisces. <laughs> then I have a cross. You might love Jesus like I do. A skeleton. You are my sunshine. An elephant with a heart on its trunk. A ballerina. A really cute shoe. I have a really cute shoe. <laughs> I have a fancy heart. A unicorn. A squid or an octopus, a shell, maybe you're into shells or you love the ocean or your name is shell, a butterfly, a tiny little skeleton key, and a tree of life or a family tree. All right, trinkets from this bowl, please, Holy Spirit. May I have trinkets from this bowl, please? Wow, I've got a lot of trinkets from this bowl. All right, I have an angel. Drive safe. I need you here with me. You might be going on a trip to see this person. I have a big and a smaller key, but they're both fairly, one could be to a house and one could be to a car. I have an Eiffel Tower, a tramp stamp, a skeleton hand, no matter where, a crescent moon with a fairy, the love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. Live your dream. Never, never give up. 
live, laugh, and love, <clears throat> a light bulb. I have some cherries, two, two sets of cherries. Maybe it's a good day to play them numbers. You might get lucky. I have a gear. You might be a mechanic or somebody in your life may work on clocks, or you may, or you might like heavy metal. That always reminds me of heavy metal. I have a Star of David. Hi, David. A lotus flower. Two infinity signs. An angel wing or a feather. A sailboat. An anchor and a ball. Somebody might play ball. Or they might be watching the Super Bowl today. All right, Pisces, that is your reading. If you enjoyed this, could you please let me know by giving it a thumbs up? And comment on it if you'd like or reach out to me privately. But make sure that you're using your voice, Pisces. Okay, there is hope for your situation. Things might seem all out of whack and fragmented right now, but you're a warrior. You are a warrior. You're a divine feminine. And this situation hopefully has got some closure coming soon because it's showing up as your outcome today. Travel with closure, okay? Let me know if I can help. I love you so very much. Bye-bye.